Tonight, I'm gonna brew with a purpose. I'm gonna use two identical kettles, and in one of them will be installed this $30 Amazon false bottom. I used it in my cooler. And then the other one will be the spike kettle false bottom designed for that kettle. And then uh, at the end of the mash, I'm going to take my double mesh uh, screen and drain them out and see which one filters out the grain the best. So stay tuned. So this is mash ton number one with the spike kettle, spike false bottom, spike pickup tube. And this is mash ton number two my old cooler false bottom and the same setup going on there. Two barbs and a hose running between them. That'd be mash ton number two. Just so we're fair, I'm gonna mix this up as best as I can. Got some Pilsner, some Munich, and some Vienna malt in here. Both buckets will have eight pounds of grain in them, uh, each milled separately so that no one has more dust or anything in it. Just so I prove it to you guys here. All right, so I got eight pounds in one. Eight pounds in the other. I got my water heated up in the boil kettle. And I'm gonna move them over to my mash tons as evenly as I can. Both kettles are at seven and a half gallons. Let's get some grain in there. All right, as quickly as I can, uh, eight pounds of grain. Eight pounds of grain. Give them both a little stir. sitting at about 150 degrees. It's a little bit lower than I was anticipating. We got Team Spider-Man, Team Packers. We'll come back in probably 90 minutes, see how much heat we lost, and we'll see the results of our experiment. I would just like you to know that after about an hour, I've lost 10 degrees. Let's go another half an hour. We've been mashing for 90 minutes. It's time to drain our wort into our oil kettle and see which false bottom works the best. All right, that took about <clears throat> 10 minutes to drain. I was hoping to get about six and a half gallons. I got almost exactly that. 
That's it. That is all that I got out of a $30 false bottom. Let's see if Spike can do a little bit better than that. All right, that took three minutes to drain. And that's what I got. Um, as far as volume, pretty much spot on for what the other false bottom was. All right, this was a very interesting experiment to me. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that, like, why did the spike kettle drain faster? Well, it has 5 ace pickup tube, which goes into a half inch ball valve. And the Amazon false bottom has a 3 ace barb on the false bottom. So, it's, it's restricted, you know what I mean? So its flow rate is obviously going to be um, slower. So I didn't really think about that. I was thinking about uh, the tubing, the ball valves, and everything like that, but I totally forgot about the barb fitting that comes with the uh, false bottom. So, you know, what do you want? Do you want a faster brew day, or do you want to sit around and watch your stuff drain, but you don't have as much grain in there, you know what I mean? Maybe you brew in a bag, maybe it's not that big of a deal. Maybe you want the flow rate, maybe you don't have brew in a bag, maybe you're just running pumps on a on a horizontal setup and whatever, you know? So maybe who cares um, how fast it goes, it'll get done anyway, so things to consider, you know? So thanks for watching, I finished my beer, so I don't have anything to cheers you. I mean, we could make one happen here. Let me get a little splash here. There we go. A little <sighs> syrup, serum, saison. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.